Seminar being a night for uh, ooh, about 35 years of my life. Uh, I'm into my last couple of years of teaching and uh, the only school I've known is Bluebell as well. So uh, yeah, 30 years as a, uh, as a teacher or just about and, and five as a student. Um, and some supply teaching years and some volunteer coaching years in there as well too. So maybe even closer to 40 years uh, affiliated with Bluebell. So it's been a pretty, pretty cool ride. Um, yeah, I was, uh, some of my favorite memories as a, as a night were, were sports related and ones connected to my friends. I played volleyball and basketball all through Bluebell and we're on some pretty good teams as well too. And it was kind of cool to be able to go on and, and coach those teams. Um, once I become a teacher at the school as well. So that was neat. Um, so yeah, that's where most of my fondest memories as a, as a night came were, were athletic related ones. Um, and that kind of springboarded into a lot of coaching that I've done uh, while I've been on staff there as well. Um, as far as uh, advice for nights, I think uh, guys, uh, maybe Ferris Bueller said it famously and the best that uh, these high school years just fly by and if you're not careful, you're gonna miss them. Uh, so yeah, do your best to, uh, to capture them and, uh, and kind of savor the moment and kind of realize when some pretty cool stuff's happening because uh, in the moment without having necessarily having to figure it out years later as you reflect. So, but it sure is cool that, um, that when um, an anniversary comes around because it certainly lends itself to that reflection. So um, yeah, happy 50th Blue Veil. It's uh, been an honor to be part of it. Hi Bluebell, my name is Mrs. Hankel and I'm a phys ed teacher here at Bluebell. I'm also a Bluebell graduate, graduating class of 1988. I've actually been at Bluebell for four of the five decades that it has been open. I was here in the 80s as a student and I came back in the late 90s as a teacher and I've been here ever since. I've been asked to talk about some of my favorite high school experiences and some of my achievements here at Bluebell and I can sum it up in one word, sports. Sports have uh, given me the friendships that I have today. The memories when I think back to Bluebell, it's all about sports and sports teams. Um, I met one of my best friends I still have today on a Bluebell sports team. The team that we played on together uh, was the senior girls basketball team. And that team went on to win the Wixa title. It was a true battle of Waterloo. I think today we call it the spirit of Waterloo. But it was against WCI and Bluebell walked away with the crown. Great memories. As far as um, advice that I'd give for Knights, get involved. Uh, get involved in all of the teams, the sports, the clubs that you can. Those are where your memories will be made. The classroom's great, it's gonna get you the job you need in the future, but your memories will be outside the classroom. School memories for me with fellow teachers. Um, I graduated with Mrs. Miller, and, or sorry, Mrs. Babinsey and Mrs. Kominar. Uh, Mrs. Miller, Mr. Taylor, um, we were all walking halls at the same time. Um, teachers that are here today that I taught, <laughs> uh, Mr. Wolf, Mr. Arthur, and Mr. Forget, I think are the ones that I have, ta I have taught. Um, I'm here because I wanted to give back to the students and athletes the way that other teachers um, you know, gave to me when I was a Bluebell student. As they say, once a night, always a night. 50 years strong, Bluebell, keep it going. Hi everyone, uh, this is Laurel Prudhomme here, Laurel Lavelle at Bluevale, and I'm actually coming to you from my office here at Bluevale because shock of all shocks, I'm actually a teacher here now and I went to high school here, so that's really exciting. Um, my favorite high school memory, well there are many, many high school memories, but um, I did love being on my sports teams, I love spending time with my friends, a lot of whom are still my friends now, um, so I do look back fondly on being a Bluevale Knight. Um, I would not say I had a million achievements, not, no, for sure, but um, I just achieved uh, a lot of happiness in high school, loved it here. Um, I did enjoy KRT, I loved playing soccer with Miss Scott and all my teammates, um, wearing a swim cap and practically drowning, things like that. Um, my advice for any nights is to get involved, I say that all the time. Try courses that you won't get an opportunity to try uh, once you leave Bluevale, and just try and immerse yourself in the experience and make lots of friends. Um, I have lots of teachers that meant a lot to me, and I actually got the chance to work with some of them in my very first few years, but 
Um, I always look fondly on uh, Mrs. Robinson, Mr. Atkinson. I actually was an English teacher myself until I became a guidance counselor, so they made a huge impact on me. Miss Scott and Miss uh, Tressler uh, also, and uh, just all the staff. We were really fortunate to have some supportive people at this school. So, yeah, happy anniversary, Bluevale. Hello, Knights. So, reflecting on my Bluefield experiences as a student and as a teacher reminds me of how this place has made me the person I am today. Uh, I was a Bluefield student here from 1986 to 1991, and then I came back here to teach starting in the fall of 2001, and I've been here ever since. I have so many high school memories. I have memories of my favorite teachers and courses even today. Many of my, my high school memories, though, are of sports I played. Our gyms may have new paint on the walls and floors, but the memories of hours on the court for basketball and volleyball practices and games may be old, but are still vivid. I went to OFSA every year, always coming home with hardware of some kind. The road trips with coaches Carmi, Servi, and Cross always had debates about who was the better driver. And the stories behind winning OFSA medals for our relays were memories that have certainly lasted. At some point, I did realize I missed this place. So becoming a teacher at Bluevale was such an exciting thing for me. Happy 50th, Bluevale. Hi, Bluevale. It's Daryl Kierstead speaking. Brad from 97. I've been a Bluevale teacher from 2003 to present. Uh, my favorite memories when I went to high school was definitely Battle of Waterloo and seeing all the fans in the stands that used to be there. It used to be a great experience and the night after was always memorable. My, uh, as a teacher, my favorite memories probably come from coaching. I coached the senior boys football team and basketball team. Um, probably the best moment that I can remember from that was going to the Western Bowl and losing in a shootout and uh, it was just an incredible game back and forth and uh, it was just uh, many great seasons with many great teams. Obviously my uh, favorite thing and probably fondest memories from Bluevale come from Fishing Club and I've had a lot of great memories from Fishing Club over the years, hanging out with kids. Um, people chirping each other and every once in a while somebody catching a big one. Um, some of my fondest memories from Fishing Club come from the Educast tournament where we've really dominated over the years and um, I cannot forget uh, Lakeside Cottages where we've caught uh, some massive fish, the biggest being 38 pounds. But whether it's a big fish or a small fish, it's always electric seeing kids smile and enjoy uh, catching their fish, fish or other fish throughout the years. So to finish off guys, a little piece of advice, a bad day fishing is better than a good day at work. Tight lines, Bluevale, and happy 50th anniversary. Hello Bluevale, my name is Chris Wolf. I was a former student at Bluevale from 1993 to 1998, and I've been teaching at Bluevale for the past 14 years, teaching science and phys ed. As far as my experience goes at Bluevale, I was largely involved in a lot of different uh, athletic and art programs. For sports, I was involved with the football team, basketball team, ski racing team, and track and field. And in the arts programs, I was involved with the band and a percussion ensemble called Night Thunder. As far as memories go, they largely are in tune with the, the programs I was part of. So uh, when I look back, with football, we won a Wixit Championship with Mr. Mook, who I now also teach with. Uh, if I look at uh, the ski team, we won Wixa and Kawasa Championships and had opportunities to go on to Asa through that experience. And also uh, with the arts program, with Mr. Arthur, who I also teach with now, uh, we won a number of Kiwanis gold medals and ended up going to Centerville, Ohio for a program, uh, an exchange program with the students of that school where we ended up doing some band collaborations. As far as uh, my thanks, my thanks goes out to all the staff that invested in me as a person. So uh, it takes a lot of time, energy away from your own families. So thank you for those staff members that coached me, that were conductors for the art program for me. It was really uh, pivotal in my development and instilled a lot of values in, that I still have in me today. Wishing you all the best and uh, hopefully we'll see you at the 50th. 
Happy birthday, Bluebell. Hi, Bluebell. It's Miss Doll here, class of 1998. One of the many staff members who decided to just stick around and never leave because we loved it so much. Um, I just wanted to say happy 50th, Bluebell, and uh, to share a memory or two of mine from being a student here. I loved being involved in uh, basketball as a student and as a staff member, as a coach, and I love being involved in many moods of music. I think those are two of my favorite memories, um, both again, as a staff member and as a student. And uh, I would love to give some advice to those of you who are current students is to get involved in as many things as you can at the school. There's a lot of people here that really care about each other and, uh, and, it, and it can be a really wonderful place if you, you know, if you make it that way. So uh, happy 50th to Bluevale and here's to 50 more. Hi, my name is Brittany Parks, but in high school I would have been known as Brittany Sonnenberg. I graduated Blueville in 2006 and I started teaching here in 2014. Um, if you would have asked me where I would have been if, uh, in high school, I probably would have said uh, teaching, but in some sort of foreign country and now I'm right back here where I started. Um, some of my favorite memories from high school uh, are probably just with friends um, in classes. I, I built great relationships with my teachers, a lot of whom still teach here today. Um, and I love my classes. I or just even hang out with them at lunch or through extracurriculars. Um, I had a really positive experience here, which is probably why I'm back here teaching. Um, I think one of the weirdest things when I came back here uh, to Blue Vale to teach was just that it was all of a sudden socially acceptable to be calling my teachers by their first name. And I feel for a while I just called them by their last name without the Mr. or Mrs. because it, it, just felt, uh, it just felt right until I felt more comfortable calling them by their first names. Um, I'd say in terms of my greatest accomplishments, I feel pretty proud to be where I am today. I feel pretty proud to be in this profession of teaching and teaching here specifically at Blue Vale. Um, I worked really hard and, and I'm, proud of, I'm proud of where I am. Hey, my name is Graham. Uh, I went to Blueville from 2006 to 2011. Uh, I'm a project manager in railway track and signals construction. Uh, and during my time at Blueville, I tried to get involved uh, very much in the music department. I was in, uh, you know, all the bands and choirs that I possibly could. Uh, and I really enjoy looking back on those uh, those memories and just how much fun we had. You know, when a song comes on the radio, uh, I'm reminded of something we did back in high school, and it. Uh, it, it really goes to show how much of an impact getting involved did, uh, getting involved had uh, on my high school experience and probably the influence that it had on, uh, on who I am today. So happy 50th anniversary, Bluevale. Here's to another 50. Hey, Bluevale. My name is Andrew. I graduated back in 2014. Uh, it's all teachers that remember me. I uh, made it into the real world, so we're doing okay. Uh, but, you know, I couldn't have done it without the amazing staff that uh, is always there to support you at Blueville. Um, my best memories were, you know, getting involved in the curling team and being part of the uh, many moods of music. So if you're, you know, if you're on the fence of getting involved in something, you know, get get involved because once you're uh, once you're done, you know, those opportunities go. So uh, happy 50 years, Blueville. Mm, that's a big number. Hope you're doing good. Bye. Hello, my name is Ahmed Hamoudi and I attended Blueville from 2013 to 2017. I really enjoyed working in the electric car club, building out new steering components using 3D printers. It was a very eye-opening experience and I learned a lot during my four years on the team. I have a very fond memory when I was in grade 9 with Mr. Meisner that honestly changed my life forever. Going into high school, I wasn't the most studious person, and on the second assignment, I actually got 100% after a 70% on the previous one. He told me that, that this is the type of work that he believes I can do more consistently. That little gesture, that, that, that little bit of faith in a student that who didn't really try in school previously motivated me to take school more seriously. So I really do want to thank you, Mr. Meisner. You are an amazing teacher and you did change my life. I really do value my years at Blueville. During that time, I was able to turn around some bad study habits I had and excel in school. I am now in my last year of software engineering at the University of Waterloo, and I've had internships at top companies like Facebook, now Meta, and Wish. My friends and the teachers at Blueville helped enable all of this, and so I really appreciate all of you. If I had to give one piece of advice to current Knights, it would be to take school seriously and join extracurricular activities. Getting good study habits and being involved in other activities really grows your skill set, potentially enabling you to a better future. Happy 50 years, Blueville, and here's to 50 more. Cheers. 
Uh, I'm Alexander Jacoby. I attended Louisville from 2013 to 2018 because I took the fifth year. And I'm currently a fourth year university student at uh, Wilfrid Laurier University. The main piece of advice I could offer to you know, younger knights and I guess even older knights would be to really take this opportunity to find out what kind of person you are and what you really want to do in order to lead your most fulfilling life. Incredibly important to find out what path is going to resonate with you most. In the end, you should be going towards that which will fulfill you the most. And I think choosing classes that interest you and engaging in extracurriculars that will really grab you is what's most important. So really take the time to sit down, look at yourself in the mirror, and ask yourself what you want to be. And I think if you do that, you'll be much more fulfilled once you make it out the other side. Happy 50th, Bluevale. Hey Blueville, I'm Giorgio Iwanu. I attended Blueville from 2013 to 2017-18. I had a lot of great memories. Um, the most memorable would have been the extracurriculars I participated in. Uh, shout out to Miss Stanick for teaching me curling, that was really fun. Uh, swimming and a bit of rugby, though I don't remember much because I was passed out and unable to breathe by the end of most rugby practices. Um, I had great experiences with teachers as well. Uh, to name a few, Mrs. Neal and Mrs. Crane, both really down to earth people, great to talk to. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Crane, for teaching me the difference between permutations and combinations. You made that course feel a lot less like rocket science to me, so thanks for that. Um, anyways, I wish you all good luck going forward and happy 50 years, Blueville.